theory of mind, this is a very trendy term among psychologists, theory of mind, the first time you realize that somebody else has different thoughts than you, somebody else has different information. This is this big developmental landmark, the first time kids get theory of mind. It typically happens somewhere between ages three and five. My wife and I tested, our kids hit it at 3.2 years of age, so we're very proud of them. So theory of mind, theory of mind is great, and this is wonderful, and this is the defining thing of humans, and it turns out we're not the only species with some rudiment of theory of mind. Recent experiment here with some chimpanzees. Take two chimps, and there's a room in front of them. They're both, you know, in a cage or something on either side. And in the middle, there is a screen. And the screen can either be transparent or opaque. On one side is this low-ranking schnook of a, bab of a uh, chimp, and somebody comes out and puts a, ba uh, puts a uh, I'm thinking baboons today for some reason, puts down a banana on this side of the screen. In one case, when the screen is opaque, this chimp sees the, bab the banana, and the high-ranking chimp on the other side cannot. Put a transparent screen, and both of them can see it. Now you release them, they both come out, and the question is, does this low-ranking guy who knows there the banana there, does it go for it? And it uses theory of mind. Here's what goes on. The chimp thinks, okay, if the other guy, big high-ranking guy, didn't see the banana because the opaque screen is there, I'm going to go grab it. If the screen was transparent, I'm not going to even bother because he's taking it away from me. If he's lower ranking than me and he saw it, it doesn't matter, I'm still going to get it. He understands the other chimp has information that he does not. The other chimp thinks differently. This is theory of mind, and this is extraordinary. What no other species has, however, is what's called secondary theory of mind, which is when you understand that that individual has information that that one doesn't, and thus that one thinks this one is doing this, but is actually doing that, and no other animal could, no other animal could sit through something like a performance in Midsummer Night's Dream and understand what's going on there with who. We are the only ones who'd be willing to spend an evening doing that and have a clue what was happening there, so we are alone in that realm as well.